Hello and welcome everyone. Thaddeus here. It's been a while. It has been a long time, actually. Um, so I do apologize for the lack of new content. I've been working on a couple of special projects, uh, one of which is the current mod pack that uh, we've been testing out here at Team Apocalypse Gamers. Uh, it's currently called Tag Core. Uh, by the time this comes out, it may be in a public release. Uh, I have been working to get all the mods to play together nicely and uh, also been in contact with some of the mod uh, developers to get permission to bundle their mods into our own mod pack. So uh, we are on a, uh, a server hosted by Bisect Hosting, uh, which for those of you who've heard me talk about uh, some of the other groups that uh, I've played with, Shadecrest in particular. Um, I've uh, I've been in contact with Bisect Hosting because the owner of Bisect Hosting also owns the group Shadecrest. Um, and he's been nice enough to uh, sponsor us with uh, a server. So we've been doing a lot of playing and testing. Uh, I will be including the uh, mod pack... Uh, contents uh, in the description so that you guys can see kind of what we're what we're messing around with and this is just a core mod pack and the reason for that is because there are certain things that I kind of felt were not really required but would really spice up a vanilla uh, Minecraft instance without going into heavy tech or heavy magic or anything along those lines. So I also wanted to say thank you so much for 2,500 subscribers. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate the support from you guys. And uh, so with this mod pack getting ready to go live, uh, we're going to be... Um, it's basically going to be open to everyone to come on the server. As we need to, we'll either see about getting some more servers, or if we get a lot of uh, trolls or something, you know, um, a lot of griefers, then we'll have to whitelist it or something along those lines. But for the most part, um, we want the ability to play with our viewers uh, and our subscribers and our friends all together. So um, here, basically, I've got a treehouse um, in one of the large redwoods from Natura. I haven't uh, I haven't finished the top level yet, but this here is uh, the current top level, and you can see my domain in the mini map there, with all the beautiful squares and and everything's nice and symmetrical. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I do have an elevator here, but I'll go ahead and I'll run down the stairs here. Uh, I actually built it all with slabs because I kind of like that, and um, this is one of the ones that apparently got removed during my remodel. Um, so, what is this episode going to be about, or this this series? I'm going to make kind of a short series here, um, because obviously you can see that I'm I'm very well established. Let me go ahead and I'll just show you the farms here real quick. Uh, this over here is your standard uh, sugarcane, melons, uh, pumpkins. Uh, over here, uh, it has. I haven't had this up long enough for it to really bug me with the fact that it uh, is not symmetrical in the center there. But uh, I, I've got some cocoa and uh, some jungle wood there. I've got wheat, potatoes. You can see the zombies, the mobs have just been coming out of the woodwork. Some carrots. I've got uh, some cactus. Those were green slime trees that lost their leaves for some reason. Uh, here's my pigs, which... For some reason, keep disappearing. Um, and that's part of what this episode is about. Um, here's my cows. Uh, I crossbred them with slime. You can see that they're jumping around constantly. No, I didn't actually breed them with slime. I think it has something to do with the Natura fence here from the redwood tree. They don't quite see it the same as a regular uh, vanilla fence. And so they keep trying to jump out. And then we have our chickens. And let me tell you, these chickens, with the wooden fence, I literally had probably 10 or 12 in each corner. Maybe more than that. Just trapped, sitting there, doing absolutely nothing. Um, absolutely stuck in the corner, could not get out. 
So uh, I just wanted to go in there and, and collect the eggs here. Um, not that I need them. Don't need any seeds. So one of the things here is we've got, uh, as I said, uh, Natura. We've also got Tinker's Construct. So this is all consecrated soil surrounding my uh, my beautiful treehouse here. Uh, there's another one off in the distance there. So anyway, there were uh, there were a couple of um, griefs, I suppose you could say. Oh, don't don't want to forget the wheat and the uh, cotton there. Um, and then this here is the uh, nether berries from Natura as well that are growing. Um, so basically, uh, Red Dexter and Hunting Block, who've been playing with me for uh, for quite a while now, ever since the original Ancient Warfare server, um, they're on, and they decided that they were going to do uh, do a little bit of trolling on me. So uh, they they put a couple of chicken spawn uh, well, not chicken spawners, but they put some uh, dispensers throughout my house, um, hooked up to some Ender chests. And uh, their egg, their chicken farm with eggs. So at one point, I had probably 200 chickens in my house. So after I cleaned that up, um, then I, they had heard me complaining about my my pigs constantly m disappearing. So they decided they were going to spend two hours breeding pigs and then teleported them all into my house uh, using a portal. Uh, so. You know, I had to get back. So this is kind of me, f whoa, filming some of my revenge. How did you get there? Die. Um, you may notice that this is a crossbow. This is a Tinker's crossbow. Um, so I'm not going to go into everything that uh, that is in the pack right now. Uh, let me just throw this in here. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that we've got Jabba in here. Um, we've got extra utilities. We've got Ender Storage. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I've got some spawners and stuff in here. This um, Over there is my Ender Lily farm. Uh, apparently don't use uh, any type of water-based acceleration on them because they will pop out of the end stone and you'll lose the seed. Uh, some netherrack furnaces because they're very uh, efficient. Over here, behind the blackout curtains, is all of my ore berries. I've got tin, copper, aluminum, and some iron back there that uh, that are producing. And then in here, of course, I've got my essence berries. Uh, I've got 33 levels because I just don't have anything to spend it on because we do have iguana tweaks in, and so there's very limited vanilla um, tools and such. So right now, I need to go to the nether. So I'm going to bring you guys with me to the nether. Um, Alright, I'll show you guys what it's like at night. Um, so I've got all this consecrated soil. We have infernal mobs by uh, uh, Father Toast. Um, so these guys come with superpowers, basically. And we've also got zombie awareness. So they will basically hoard up. Um, here I've got uh, I've got some shurikens. They're kind of nice to play with. Um, the uh, the scythe is an amazing thing for taking out a zombie horde um, because of the AOE damage. But the crossbows that you can get are just insane. Um, once you get them leveled up to uh, master. Um, it's saying my max damage right now is 64.8, and this thing is nowhere near top tier, uh, material. Uh, and these are my, my bolts, the crossbow bolts. So, I love it. It's leveled up, uh, to the point where I can one-shot just about anything. You'll also notice that I jump really high. Um, I'm wearing... The, uh, the Tinker's armor as well. There's a Traveler's set of armor. And it is quite uh, amazing as well. Because it gives you... Uh, here, I'm, I'm working on leveling up my javelin. The Tinker's armor gives you high jump and high step. So you can walk over one block. Uh, uh, not gaps, but uh, elevation changes. Um... You can put Featherfall 
on it so that you can basically fall from an infinite height without dying. You can put water walking on them. Um, I was really kind of disappointed when I found out that the uh, bronze plate armor was no longer in. But after uh, playing around with this, you can see with the full set on, it's just as good as diamond armor. Uh, and you can auto repair it. So um, I'll show you what it looks like here. So you've got the wings that actually go in the leg section. Um, there is a belt and some other things, some gloves. So it doesn't cover up your entire skin either, which is kind of nice. Uh, you've got goggles, which um, allow you to uh, actually turn on temporary night vision, or I believe you can make it permanent if you wanted that upgrade on it. Um, and you can just turn it back off. The belt is made using a chest, and so you can actually toggle between two different hot bars, as you can see me doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, uh, the nether here, because I need to move my lava supply. These are kind of hard to hit with sometimes, because um, you basically click to start your throw, but then you don't control the actual release. Um, Sometimes you can pick them up off the ground when you miss, sometimes not. I guess that's the break chance. Uh, we've also got utility mobs in, so you'll see some turrets floating around. Um, there's a colossus over there. Um, lots of bushes. Uh, we also currently have animals plus in, so you may see some manta rays or some sharks swimming around. Um, let me kind of show you the, uh, the water walking here. Yeah, it also gives you fast swim. So you can see I'm just walking on the water here. Now, I can't jump uh, while I'm on the water, but I can hold down shift, and it'll make me start to go down, and then I can go back up. And that looked like some kind of a shooting star. Oh, it's the uh, sniper turret up there. That's what it is. There, let me go and switch here. I was like, what is that? Yeah, he's got a sniper turret up there that's taking these guys out. So, basically, we wanted a nice, hard, vanilla experience. And so, with all these mobs and everything, we really needed something that would help with um, the ability to take them out, especially at um, early game. So, early game on this, uh, you need some bows and a little bit of redstone to make the turrets. And then, um, for the golems, you just need to find your... Um, find yourself some pumpkins, and you can make all the golems you want uh, out of stone or uh, obsidian or anything like that. Um, I guess while those are firing, I'm going to go and run into the nether here because I really need to get this done. Um, I need to ch get... Um, I need to move my, my pump in the nether because we ran out of lava. So let me go ahead and clear out and see. I'll probably want to keep my uh, my crossbow available because this thing here will one-shot a ghast. It'll pretty much one-shot anything in the nether. Um, and let's see, let me go... Oh, I better change my map to show me what's in the nether. So let me just go here. Uh, group is... Um, why is there no nether group? I made a nether group. Okay, well, there's the pump. That's fine. As long as I can see where that is... This is Red's Portal, and where am I at? So let's go ahead and label this one as well. This is Itamu's Portal. Uh, marker group. That should be Nether. I don't know why it isn't. There. And then what I can do is I can actually take this, I believe, can I double-click on it? No. Can I right-click? There we go. So, see that one says Group Nether. Okay. So, just for some reason, it wasn't showing me the Nether group. That's fine. We're here. We're ready to go. I need lots of lava because after the uh, the double troll by uh, Red Dexter and Hunting Block, I have a mission. Uh, when I went in and got the first part of my revenge, I, um, I planted several... Oh, somebody missed some ghast tears. 
I pl I planted a couple of large redwood trees. Um, two of the super large from Natura that requires a seven by seven base of saplings. So forty nine saplings are required just to just to get that thing to grow. Um, and I got really lucky on the growth because it came out um, super large. And then uh, I also put in some of the regular, um, oh, what are they, uh, Extra Biomes XL Redwoods. So you can see this, here's the area where my pump has been running. Did that? Okay, I thought maybe they would despawn. So look at that. Five of these giant spiders. I am not worried at all. I can one-shot these things, and part of the reason for that is uh, I've got some Bane of Arthropods. Ooh, that one's a special one. He just made it so I can't see. Where are you? Oh, I guess I already killed it. That's fine. Now, the the shurikens are kind of cool, but they don't fly as far. Um, you can see they don't, uh, they don't go very far. So I am still working to level those up a little bit. Let me switch over here and grab some food. Um, and so, one of the interesting things is we've got the Infernal Mobs, which makes them just incredibly strong at some times. Uh, let me see if I can find one of those that... Uh, let me turn off my dynamic lights here. That'll help make the frame rate a little more stable. So, what do we got here? I've got... I believe it's 29 um, arrows, or bolts, actually. Come here. Uh, you'll also see that I have uh, full yellow hearts. That means I have double health. Uh, that is also by Tinker's Construct. So if I get both of these guys coming in, I can actually hit them both because this is uh, an AoE weapon. So let me see how many bolts I've got left. i got 21 bolts, so I should be able to finish these guys off without too much trouble. You can see I can just totally one-shot them with uh, without any problems. I need to... Whoa! I need to get my... I need to upgrade my bolts because the durability of the bolt determines how many uh, how many bolts you get. It determines the number of, of shots. Your ammo count, basically. So, I'm, you know, I don't know why I'm actually grabbing this stuff, the experience in particular. I've got eight uh, open block tanks full of experience back at, whoa, back at my house. More, you guys? Oh, great. And now a gas has spawned. I'm the only one currently on the server, so you know what I'm just going to get out of here. 